Hey guys, I'm still around. It's been about two weeks since I put my last video out, but uh, that's not on purpose. That's just uh, life. Just had a little quick trick here to show you that I've used a couple times. It works really well for captured nuts when you're when uh, you have like a captured nut in plastic, and um, it disappears or it uh, comes out or you need to replace it for whatever reason. Um, and this is just a little trick to use just a regular nut and bolt to replace that captured nut. So what I'm working on here is just a regular old Toro lawnmower with a Briggs and Stratton in it. I had to do a flywheel key on this. If you're not familiar with flywheel keys, I have another video on that replacing them. And basically those go out when you hit something with the blade. So it breaks that flywheel key and then you just get a new one and replace it. It's not a hard job. It's, it's uh, sometimes hard to get the flywheels off. Uh, a good impact tool and a puller helps do that but again not a hard job but basically that's all this thing needed however this is the door for the air cleaner and it's supposed to have a screw that goes in here goes in here like this and then there's an insert that goes right in here but the insert is gone so what I'm going to show you right now is a little trick to put a new insert in there that uh, will probably last the, the life of this mower especially as often as this gets changed but uh, not my mower anyway here we go all right so what I have here is just a little uh, s number six nut and bolt and I've just put the nut just right on the end of the bolt like that I'm gonna grab it with a pair of pliers That's the other thing that's been going on. That's a dog bite. About took the end of my finger off. That's another story for another time. All right, so let's get this piece out of the way for right now. So we're going to take and we're going to heat this bolt up. And then I'm going to press it in to where uh, I want it to be into that plastic. Hold it there for a few minutes. Hold it there for a few minutes. I think I got it a little hot. It's all right. Yeah, I definitely got that a little too hot, but. I think you get the idea. Now, once that cools down, we can take that bolt out of there and then uh, put it back in. Now this works for things like this where it's just a, a door to hold the air filter on. It doesn't have to hold it, you know, with, with you know, 100 pounds of torque. It's not, it's not meant to be that way. Um, but this will work for a lot of applications like that. Once that once that that nut is in there and it's uh, it cools down, it's in there. Uh, the only way you're going to get it back out is to is is a pick and um, and heating this back up. But uh, easy peasy. So let's uh, get another bolt. And put that back together. So obviously the other way you could do this would be to put a nut on the opposite side and just tighten it up that way. But in this case, I don't have any room on the opposite side. There's a there's a, a governor switch here and uh, it would be in the way to put a nut there. So this is nice because it's also, you know, you can take it in and out, which uh, you need to do once in a while. All right, that looks like that'll work. Get a washer on there. And I'm just using these bolts because they're the ones I have. You can do this with anything. Um, and just like that, that's all you need. Doesn't need to be, you know, super tight. Just gotta hold that ca that case on and squeeze that uh, air filter down a little bit, and that's not coming out of there. So anyway, I hope you like this little trick. 
I've used it on a number of different things that are uh, plastic. It works on just about any plastic. Just uh, heat it up and obviously you don't have to heat it as red hot. You just need to get it enough where it melts into the plastic, push it into the plastic, and hold it there until the plastic cools back down and reforms around it. So I hope you uh, like this little trick. Um, I don't think I came up with it. I think I probably saw it somewhere, but um, I thought I'd just pass it along. I wanted to mention also that I have a new couple of project videos coming up. Um, it's making a tool, uh, and it is a um, slightly precision tool, but it's going to be for uh, in a spare room workshops uh, tool making competition. So I think you're going to like it. It's pretty cool. It's something I actually need, so I want to make it. And um, look for that. I'm not going to tell you what it is. And the first couple of videos, I'm, I'm debating, but I'm probably just going to make parts and not say what the parts are for because I want to do a video at the end when everything's together for the competition and that's when I'll put everything together and show you what it is. This particular tool is not my design but uh, the designer was kind enough, I've talked to him, he was kind enough to, he was happy to have me make the tool and um, he is, uh, he's sharing the, the plans for it so all that will be available when I get it uh, to the thing and I think I think you're really gonna like it. It's uh, it's different. It's not something you see every day. So uh, it's and it's not real complicated. It's only about six pieces, and everything's pretty small. And it's an easy machining process. There's not a lot of milling, but it's mostly lathe work. Anyway, I'm babbling on. Really appreciate you watching. Check for that. Should have the first video coming out within the next week. I hope. We'll see if I don't get bit by a dog again. And. Don't worry, it was my dog. I was trying to break up a dog fight. It was stupid. The whole thing. I'm fine. Dogs are fine. So, uh, so you know, it's just stuff that happens. And, uh, you know, I, I paid for it because I had to get uh, sutures put in my finger. But, you know, whatever. Really appreciate you watching. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.